Every company experiences its moments of glory. However, only a select few manage to sustain that momentum and remain at the top of their game. Once upon a time, Boeing was the unparalleled leader in the realm of space exploration. The company's involvement in pivotal projects like the X-15 rocket plane and the Saturn V rocket, which powered the Apollo missions to the moon, solidified its iconic status. As a testament to its engineering prowess, Boeing played a major role in the creation and operation of the International Space Station. However, the landscape of space exploration and commerce began to shift. New entrants, notably SpaceX, brought fierce competition and innovation, leading to a changed industry dynamic. Challenges with Boeing's more recent Starliner program are making people question Boeing's current direction in space projects. Boeing's CST-100 Starliner, their latest space capsule, shows the company's recent challenges. While it was supposed to represent the future of space travel, it has become a major worry for NASA. Designed as a sleek, modern capsule with a truncated cone shape, the CST-100 Starliner surpasses both the Apollo Command Module and SpaceX's Dragon 2, yet it remains more compact than Lockheed Martin's next-generation Orion. Offering room for up to seven passengers on voyages to low Earth orbit, the Starliner's technical specifications are undeniably impressive. However, the journey from blueprint to space is filled with complexities, and the Starliner has had its fair share of hiccups. When Boeing first introduced the Starliner to NASA in 2014, they pitched an array of advanced features that were expected to propel it to the forefront of space travel. Its 12 reusable command module thrusters were not just for propulsion, but also ensured greater longevity and durability. Among the attributes that set the Starliner apart from its competition was its remarkable reboost capability. With this, the Starliner could ensure the International Space Station's independent access without having to lean on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for assistance, a matter of both pride and pragmatism given geopolitical considerations. Moreover, when compared with SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, Starliner's capabilities seemed to shine even brighter. One of the most noteworthy advantages was its ability to elevate the International Space Station to a higher altitude, a feat Dragon couldn't achieve at the time. While the Starliner's capabilities shine brightly on paper, the reality of the past six years paints a different story. The spacecraft has grappled with numerous challenges, and even now continues to wrestle with obstacles that stand in the way of its full potential. When NASA envisioned the future of space travel, they saw both Starliner and SpaceX's Crew Dragon leading the way. But as time went on, the budget for Starliner started to balloon, and whispers of doubt crept in. Many people began to question if Boeing was genuinely committed to the vision, or if they were chasing after more lucrative contracts. Then came Starliner's much-anticipated maiden voyage, but it didn't go as planned. Due to a computer glitch, the spacecraft missed its rendezvous with the International Space Station. It was a significant setback, but Boeing was determined to set things right. By 2022, they successfully docked the Starliner with the space station. However, just when it seemed like smoother skies were ahead, 2023 brought two new challenges. Engineers found that the ropes designed to hold Starliner's parachutes weren't robust enough, meaning there was a risk if one parachute gave out during descent. Additionally, there was a discovery of a potential fire hazard, linked to a specific tape used within the spacecraft. The newest financial report has revealed an extra $257 million has been spent on the Starliner program, pushing the total extra costs or overrun to an astounding $1.4 billion. That's a lot more than Boeing planned to spend. These high costs make it even clearer how different the Starliner program is from its competition, the Crew Dragon program by SpaceX. While Boeing's Starliner project has been struggling, the Crew Dragon has been very successful. By the time of its latest mission, Dragon had already set multiple American spaceflight records. One of the standout achievements includes its 38th mission to the International Space Station, a feat that surpasses the 37 flights undertaken by NASA's iconic space shuttles. That's not all. The collective time the Dragon 2 fleet has spent in space outstripped that of the space shuttle fleet, marking a staggering 1,324 days in orbit. 
This is particularly noteworthy given that the Dragon 2, the newest model of this resilient capsule, only commenced its flights in 2020. The Crew Dragon, a type of Dragon 2, has impressively finished 10 missions carrying astronauts. Most of these missions lasted about six months, taking astronauts to and from the space station for NASA. It's quite remarkable when you consider that SpaceX achieved this while also diving deep into other ambitious projects like Starship. Starship, envisioned as a fully reusable spacecraft for grand missions to destinations like the Moon and Mars, hasn't had a smooth journey itself. It faced challenges ranging from explosive test flight outcomes to tight budget constraints. Yet, SpaceX marked a significant milestone by successfully completing the first flight test of Starship on April 20th. With this achievement under their belt, they are now gearing up with renewed vigor for the next series of tests. It's surprising that Boeing, a leading company in aerospace, has struggled to have even one successful Starliner mission when SpaceX can manage multiple big projects at once. Many people are asking, why does NASA keep spending money on Boeing's Starliner when SpaceX's Dragon is already doing well? Wouldn't it be better to use funds on something that's already successful instead of a project like Starliner that keeps facing problems? NASA's approach of not solely relying on SpaceX is rooted in their effort to avoid creating a monopoly in the space industry. Monopolies can stifle competition, and if they only work with SpaceX and something goes wrong, there's no backup. By diversifying its partnerships, NASA ensures a competitive environment where each participating company is motivated to bring forth its best, both in terms of innovation and cost-effectiveness. However, there's good news. Companies like Dream Chaser are starting to get noticed. Dream Chaser, made by Sierra Nevada Corporation, is showing that it can be a solid choice for space missions. Dream Chaser is even getting ready for its first flight. The company recently tested its engines and computer systems. Soon, the space plane will be sent to a NASA facility in Ohio for more tests. After that, it will be moved to Cape Canaveral, where they prepare for launches. The company's president hopes that Dream Chaser will be ready to fly by the end of the year. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.